Hello guys and welcome to Nepal. In this video I'm going to be going over the yak and some of the hot spots where you can find them where I've had it really good success with them. So far in the grind I've spawned seven trolls, two diamonds, and one eight mythical albino. All great trophies uh, but overall I think that with the yak they're really just a lot of fun to hunt. And right here, this should give you quite a few tips and tricks, a few places where you can go look for them and be successful in hunting them. They are currently my top species that I enjoy hunting so far on this map, with second being tigers. Tigers, I feel like they're just a little too spaced out for me, but the yak, definitely not the case. There's tons of them, and they go really aggressive as well. Sometimes you have two, three yak attacking you at the same time. Uh, so just starting out here, I'm going to show you the map up at the top left up here. I have a tent just off the path here. I like to come down to these first three lakes and check them for any yak down here. There's usually quite a few down in this area. This top lake up here will be the next one that we go to, but let's, uh, let's head on down. On the way down to this one though, there is over to the right on this hillside over here. Oftentimes during the drink time, so the drink time being 8 to 12, uh, I like to start my time at 8.30 and oftentimes on this hillside here, you'll usually catch a group traveling. So I always like to look over here, listen for calls, stuff like that for Yak as well. The main things that I target for Yak, oh look, there's some right actually out in front here. We got a two female, there's a male down this way, warning calling. Um, uh, but yeah, what I like to target for these is level seven and up and sevens. I focus on hitting the ones that go up to 1200 kilograms on the high end first. I like those max weight estimates. Those have seemed to me, uh, shooting those and up have been the best for spawning nine legendaries. Okay. So definitely focus on those. If you have the option between that and something lower, definitely take the level seven and up. This guy ran, he's probably going up over the hillside over here. Don't quite see, it's pretty thick through here. There's just this wood line that comes down, kind of separates the two hillsides here, uh, but that's fine. Once we check down here, actually, we can fast travel back to this tent. And then I take that trail around to the top lake and generally you can see whatever is uh, on that hillside from that path. This is the first group here, it looks like uh, maybe that one Went ahead and came down. It's a uh, level six. I'm gonna go ahead and not take that one. However, this eight myth goal is aggressive. Like I said, they definitely go aggressive often and uh, they do allow you decent time for some shots. We're gonna go ahead and take this guy right here. Put two into him and that should end him pretty quickly. There it is, down and we'll go ahead and swoop this one up. 245 scoring they make dime at 273.23 uh i have had him i have had one mythical so far that was pretty close but not quite so i think it's definitely a potential that an eight can make it but i haven't seen it yet all right here we are getting down to these three lakes uh doesn't look like there's much down here at this top one generally this top one right here is really kind of like a hit or miss lake oftentimes with nothing being there at all. Um, so we just ease on over and kind of redirect down to the second lake down here. Uh, I believe this is, I uh, could be wrong actually, you could have something here. So callers are really important, just pay attention to the calls. Let's see what we got. And I'm wrong, we have a mythical right there, all right. Put two, two shots into that guy. Should be plenty to put him down. So like I said, every now and then, you know, they'll be right there. And this is a solo respawn, it looks like. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. That was super close. There he goes. All right. Sounds like some more maybe aggressive coming at us right now. 259.40. I did botch the shot. Wait, wait, what? Oh, there's another mythical right here. Oh my God. So the mythicals on these, I've noticed there is a ton of them. Oh, I, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, I just shot both of these actually. 
with the 308. That is completely my bad. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Just kind of circle them up and let them fade out. Uh, that is really unfortunate to take them with the 308 like that. Takes them longer to drop. They are a class 9 species, so make sure you get out the big boy gun. Another 259 here. Uh, we put the first shot there. wasn't too good, but we followed up into the lung there. All right. Now, we did shoot a couple shots here. Pretty close, so anything down here probably ran away. But again, we still go down there, take a look. Um, and then all the way on over to the last one here, just to make sure. As you can see, there are some drink zones down here. Let's go ahead and take a look really quick and see what we got. There's five yak here. And five here could be the same group drinking here, but as you see, time is eight to 12. We'll go ahead and set a waypoint here and head on over to the next spot. There is a new tent render thing that is going kind of around the community right now people are uh noticing that you can place a tent down fast travel directly to it and it no longer uh de-renders the animals so you can actually just kind of set them up you know down much closer and fast travel down and just quickly look at what's there uh that's a possibility for you i personally i just kind of like to uh set my tents further away kind of multi-purpose because i can hunt these lakes as well as hit back up there and go to the other lake with one tent and I don't really mind the extra run. A lot of times on this map, what I've noticed so far is when you do that, it gives you kind of a higher chance to run into a snow leopard or, you know, a, a fox or something like that, right? And that right there is definitely okay by me just because the snow leopard by itself, there's so few on the map that, you know, any chance that you get to come across them um, is, is definitely worth taking. We have some more yak fleeing here. Uh, you'll also see blue sheep and things like that around here. Uh, there are fox that drink around here as well. Uh, we have another, as you can see, another eight mythical. There's a six there. Seven with the max weight estimate that I was talking about earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and take this eight mythical right here and we'll come back for that seven. Couldn't put three rounds into that one. I think the first one wasn't very good, so. That'll take both of those and we will snag them up as well. It's a dark red. Max weight estimate level seven. And here's our eight, 260.91. All right, the next spot we're going to go is straight back up to our tent. All right, straight back up to our tent, and we will head back up the pathway here. All I do is walk this path up around just to get a good look down on this hillside. And then I actually crest up over the top to get a, a top-down view of the next lake at the very far top left. Once you get up to this path and up along this hillside past this tree line, you want to kind of come over to the edge and start kind of looking over uh looking for movement and stuff like that see if you see any yak down here a lot of them should have already like managed to get their way towards the drinks on but sometimes you do find stragglers down here so it's definitely worth a look and a listen if you hear any calls definitely definitely take a look over doesn't look like there's actually any down here right now so we're gonna head up over the top of this hill right here up by these flags so here's the top left lake when you come up to the top of this hill here and you look down generally they spawn on this side right here and this side right here currently though the zones are gone i did delete them through shooting them and all that really does is just kind of moves them to another lake 
and you start getting these massive piles of yak. Uh, we'll take a look at this next lake over here. This is actually probably one of my favorite lakes. Um, it's just been really, really productive. But again, I delete the zones and the yak just come back. All right, here we are. I have a tent up here on the trail and coming down to this lake right here in the middle. One thing about it is, again, every time you fast travel to a tent, a lot of times the animals aren't into their zones right away. Now, there are some there, but sometimes, again, you'll find stragglers going from feed zones or rest zones or whatever like that over to their drink zone, right? So just pay attention. And again, with any other species out here, just uh, you hear a call, check it out and see what you got. On this particular lake right here, I do like to come down to this side. There's not an actual drink zone that I've seen so far on this side. However, they drink right up here along the north side of this lake. Uh, it looks like they're actually not there either. So next thing right here, I'd like to go to this outpost here. Uh, Sherpa gone, I think is how you pronounce it. Go here and then I actually just move straight south, hitting this lake right here and this lake right here. These two are the main two that I go to. Uh, I haven't really been to this small one yet, but I do know that it can also hold yak. All right, so generally when you're coming up these paths right here to this first lake right here, a lot of times you'll you'll hear calls from a group of yaks that are around the right side or the left side the left side ones you can actually see uh if they are over in this area however most times they do go aggressive and come rushing out now when that happens uh if it's a smaller yak or say maybe even like a female or something like that Generally, I like to try and just run away, avoid them until I at least get up to the water to be able to check what is currently there. A lot of times you'll find like eight mythicals, even nines. I've had nines rush out of this area at me. Uh, so I just like to kind of save that shot before I scare everything away and just try and get eyes on at least to what's actually drinking at the time. This doesn't happen every time, but when it does, that's kind of the plan that I go with. We're starting to get some snow in this area. I love it when it snows up here in the north. It's really, really nice. Sometimes it gets uh, snowing so hard that actually it's almost like a whiteout. Uh, here they are right here. So let's check it out. Um, level seven max weight, level seven max weight. We'll take both of these right here. There we go, dark brown. One down there, one here. With the jet black. The furs look really good on these things. I got something else running in right now. An aggressive female. We're gonna go ahead and avoid that one. Actually, you know what? Let's uh let's change our mind a little bit. Change your mind a little bit. <gasps> Come on, just go down. All right. Dark red, and we'll take that one. There's another max weight yak somewhere down here. I could have already ran away, but there is a, still a group of six at least drinking here. Um, but what I'll go ahead and, oh, maybe even more here. Let's see. 
uh six and five yeah see so just absolutely packed for this little tiny body of water uh but you know one pass on it we took out two max weight sevens there i'm happy with that the next place i go from here is actually right here i'll place a waypoint here what this is is there's a cliff here that we'll run over to and it gives you kind of like a top-down view of another group here but this is also another one of the spots it, it doesn't matter where you go uh the yak are super aggressive and they will charge you out of nowhere i've had a nine charge me at this lake as well again i've been trolled seven times i did get two diamonds out of the grind and then the eight mythical albino but they're just super aggressive and I, I think that's another thing that makes them really fun there's a lot of them to hunt you can cruise around to these lakes the scenery is beautiful and they're just they're just a, a load of fun honestly my favorite animal so far by far we've got some fleeing down over here off to the right they weren't maybe at the zone just yet uh, chances are though they're probably gonna run along this side over here uh, and once it opens up we should be able to actually get some eyes on them here's the zone start looking here and they go aggressive there's a level seven a max weight estimate he's aggressive and will definitely come in so let's go ahead and these guys are going to push on out and we'll see if we can get some eyes on them. Got another level seven max weight there. And a female. We'll go ahead and take a shot here. Oh, we got two. We got two. Oh no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a level six there. We'll go ahead and take this guy. And this one. We have to get another shot into him. Now, when some run off like that, like the other group, there was actually some that I hadn't spotted. The ones that spooked from over here, it looked like there was more than two there. That was probably about four heading up that way. Uh, it's okay if you don't get them this time. Next time around, uh, you should, you know, get another chance at it. So, all right, there we go. So, another spot here is this lake here. This one right here does have some at the top. It's, they seem to spawn at the top here more often than not, uh, but not every time. I haven't really seen any up here, but that's not to say that you can't have them there. I just personally haven't, and it's a little bit of a run for my tent there, so I don't check it crazy often. Another really, really good lake is this one up here at the very far top right. This zone up here, it's actually blown out now, but this is where I spawn my albino. And I do have a, a tent here and a tripod set up just to try and help with the hunting pressure a little bit. I do a few long shots to start out and then I move into uh, closer range as I move down into the zone. All right, here we go. Another seven and eight, seven, all max weight estimates there. Uh, let's go take a look here. We got another mythical over here. So these are the ones where I actually just shoot into them quite a bit here. There's another seven here. What's going to happen is I'm going to shoot for these three over here. These ones might start to go alert or even spook and start to move around this way, which will allow some shots there too from this position. So we have the eight there. I'm going to start from the back and move to the left. Zero at 300. Like we got all three there. Now they're alarmed. Not sure if they're actually going to run or not. 
we do have another level seven over here and then there's the eight we'll take a shot on that one and this one's still calm was not the best shot on that guy putting pressures down we're gonna move down to the left side over here and see what is in this near zone Looks like it was just a one one seven there maybe. The rest might have scooted off. Yeah, they they moved off into the woods over here. They'll kind of cruise off as you shoot and then kind of lurk over here in the woods a bit. But let's go ahead and pick up this guy up here. Jet Brown, 246, level 7. So with this method right here, just hitting these lakes like this and shooting those level 7 max weight estimates and up, you can almost expect 9s like really, really frequent. Um, now, they do troll a lot. That's one thing about the Yaks is they, they tend to troll quite a bit. Uh, I was kind of a little bit taken back by how much they actually do troll. Like I said, seven seven trolls so far and two diamonds out of nine total spawn nines. But you can expect to get them pretty quickly by shooting like this. You don't have to stack diamonds. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just come to these lakes and you should be pretty successful in shooting yak. I mean, there should be no problem getting into a diamond. Uh, or into some nice big rares on them. So far, I've seen a uh, leucistic female and an albino mythical male. They look amazing, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more rares from them. I want to see what all they have. I do want to see a male leucistic. Haven't done that yet. But yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comments. I do appreciate you guys so much for watching this. And if you could, in the description below, I do have a link for my Twitch. Feel free to drop me a follow over there too. Come in, ask questions live, and check it out. If we get enough traction going here on YouTube, I might start opening up some YouTube streams and we could have a good time on both platforms, all right? But if you do like the content, please like, subscribe and again leave a comment let me know what you think and if you do find yak anywhere else please also let me know because i haven't put a whole ton of time into them but uh the short bit that i have i really enjoyed it all right thank you so much and have a good one